वेलकम टू साइंस स्टोर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Welcome to all my dear students. Today I am taking biology class. Under that we are studying the cell, the unit of life. Last class we have studied about the plasma membrane and cell wall. Okay, we have studied the structure of plasma membrane and uh, cell wall. What is the function of plasma membrane as well as cell wall that we have studied. Alva adra bagge kalti deve. E class only. Today we are going to study about. इंडोमेम्रेन सिसम हिर् द आर्गनल यूशली द से यू क्यारियोटिक से कंटेन डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द आर्गनल एंड ईच आर्गनल आर् डिफरेंट इन दर् स्ट्रक्चर आज वेल आज इन दर् फंक्षन अल्वा द स्ट्रक्चर मत फंक्षन आर्गनल बेरे बेरे मैटोकॉंड्रिया ता क्लोरोप्लास्टिया इला सो द स्ट्रक्चर आज वेल आज फंक्षन वेरी बिटवीन द आर्गनल बट समम सम आफ द आर्गनल प्रेसेंट इन दू क्यारियोटिक से दर् फंक्षन आर् को आर्डिनेटेड द से आर्गनल सम organel functions are coordinated so coordination means they are the function one function is depending on the other so here uh, you know we got mitochondria sorry for example vacuole function uh, golgi complex ottige uh, include agide so here you can see this pink color portion this is golgi complex here this golgi complex will associated with the uh, lysosomes or it may be associated with the endoplasmic reticulum their function they are associated with one another so this association this coordination between the organelles will form the endomembrane system here that collectively the coordinated organelles within the eukaryotic cells we'll call it as endomembrane system a coordination yavudella organelles coordinate agi ottagi ondu kelsa vanna maartidalla a type in organelle anna naavu a type sid organelle will group into endomembrane system endomembrane system andre endo means inside membrane means membrane bound organelles uh, um, membrane system means this organelles that refers to the organelles so um, the uh, organelles present inside the cells are grouped into endomembrane system that includes that includes endoplasmic reticulum this endomembrane system includes endoplasmic reticulum golgi complex lysosomes vacuoles vacuoles these are the important endomembrane systems okay these are the important endomembrane system where it includes endoplasmic reticulum golgi complex and lysosomes and vacuoles all their functions are coordinated they are dependent on the one another and except this mitochondria chloroplast peroxisomes and 
endosomes. These are not included in endomembrane system because their functions are independent. They are not dependent on any other organelles. They independently do their functions. So they are not included under endomembrane system. But here endomembrane system, their functions, the function will be dependent on one another. Okay. First we'll study. Under that we are going to study. Okay. The, the uh, first we are going to study about the endoplasmic reticulum. Usually the reticulum or the membrane, usually the microscopic study in eukaryotic and if we, uh, the microscopic study which reveal that the inside the eukaryotic cells you can see a network like Inside this, you can see a network like structure inside the endoplasmic, uh, inside the eukaryotic cell. You can see a network or reticulum like membrane system. That membrane system will call it as endoplasmic reticulum. A membrane system, anna, you can call it as endoplasmic reticulum, and these are scattered in the cytoplasm. Okay, cytoplasm only scattered. Before that, Okay, before I uh, explaining the endoplasmic reticulum, I'll just give you the overview of the cell. What we are going to study in the chapter that overview we are, we have, I will tell. Okay, cell. First is cell. The co compact structure we'll call it as a cell, which is divided into two main parts. Salva, undu protoplast, protoplasm, and here cell wall or and plasma membrane here the plasma membrane will not be divided into any other type here the protoplasm this collectively the uh, innermost uh, or organelle along with the fluid matrix will call it as uh, protoplasm okay all this unwanted uh, chemicals along with the organelles and fluid materials collectively called it as protoplasm here the protoplasm will be divided into two main parts here the protoplasm is divided into two main parts cytoplasm and nucleus and nucleus which is nucleus is also very important part alva nucleus part is their function they are entirely different it is a main unit important unit of the cell now the nucleus so they are grouped into separate uh, structure nucleus all the, the the functions of cytoplasm dependent on the nucleus here the cytoplasm further divided into two types so, organelles we, along with the fluid matrix will call it as cytoplasm which contain here the cytoplasm contain organelles and no metabolically inactive substance that is the freely chemicals present in a cytoplasm that is metabolically inactive substance and this organelles which includes endoplasmic reticulum then Golgi complex then mitochondria then chloroplast all the organelles will come under the organelles which is present in the cytoplasm this is a general overview of the cell all organelles baruthe yavudu endoplasmic reticulum golgi complex mitochondria chloroplast peroxisome uh, lysosomes then uh, then what comes uh, chloroplast vacuole uh, then uh, nu nucleus will not come uh, all these will come under the uh, organelle system which is present inside the cytoplasm this is an overview of the cell okay next we'll move to the endoplasmic reticulum here 
this endoplasmic reticulum is nothing but a membranous network like structure present within the cell membranous network like structure present within the cells okay they are uh, they are present within the cell and scattered in a cytoplasm they are scattered in a cytoplasm and they are nothing but a thin tubular structure hegirtadandre usually the endoplasmic reticulum this thin tubular structure This is a tubular structure of the endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, really, it is a tubular structure form. This is endoplasmic network like they are network like thin, tiny tubular reticulum or network like uh, structures scattered in the cytoplasm. Okay, and these structures are covered by thin plasma membrane or thin membrane system. Okay, they are uh, separated from the cytoplasmic content by the presence of thin plasma membrane. Okay, here this endoplasmic reticulum will separate the cytoplasmic content into two main compartments. It will uh, uh, separate the cytoplasmic content into two uh, compartments. first inside this entire inside the endoplasmic reticulum we'll call it as laminal laminal compartment okay inside ee olage irthadalla endoplasmic olage iruvanta region anna now laminal compartment or laminal region ant helteve in between this you can see the space okay it will uh, separate the cytoplasmic space into two compartments one the laminal compartment ant heltare innondu extra laminal compartment this will call it as extra laminal compartment in between the endoplasmic reticulum you can see the space alva ee space anna now extra laminal compartment ant heltave or extra laminal space the space within the endoplasmic reticulum is called as laminal space okay ಗೊತ್ತಿರಲಿ ಎರಡು ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಈ ಎರಡು ಕಂಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಯಾವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಲ್ಯಾಮಿನಲ್ ಮತ್ತು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಲ್ಯಾಮಿನಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಮಿನಲ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಎಂಡೋಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಮಿಕ್ ರೆಟಿಕ್ಯುಲಮ್ ಒಳಗಿರುವ ಸ್ಪೇಸನ್ನು ಲ್ಯಾಮಿನಲ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಲ್ಯಾಮಿನಲ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಂಡೋಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಮಿಕ್ ರೆಟಿಕ್ಯುಲಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಯೂಶಲಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ದಿಸ್ ಸರ್ವ್ nuclear membrane here usually this uh, associated with the nuclear membrane on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum you can see the presence of ribosomes you can see the presence of ribosomes attachment of ribosomes these are nothing but the ribosomes these are nothing but the ribosome the ribosome containing endoplasmic reticulum is called as rough endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum the ribosome containing reticulums are called as rough endoplasmic reticulum those endoplasmic reticulum do not contain the attachment of ribosomes kelavondu endoplasmic reticulum alli ribosomal attachment irudilla so that type of endoplasmic reticulum will call it as smooth endoplasmic reticulum okay this will call it as smooth endoplasmic reticulum so if the ribosomes attaches on the uh, endoplasmic reticulum and then that type of endoplasmic reticulum will call it as rough endoplasmic reticulum those who do not contain any ribosomal association is called as smooth endoplasmic reticulum the main function of the smooth and uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum 
okay here the rough endoplasmic reticulum because of the presence of um, ribosome they are the important uh, they, the, their important function is uh, protein synthesis their important function is associated with synthesis of protein protein synthesis alli help maartide this rough endoplasmic reticulum because of the presence of ribosomes okay synthesis of protein and secretion they also involved in secretion the in uh, synthesized proteins will not stay inside the endoplasmic reticulum enaktade yavdu synthesis of the protein endoplasmic reticulum olage kurudilla adeno secrete aagbeku bere bere function ige bekaagtade so adanna secrete maartade so the main function of rough endoplasmic reticulum is synthesis of protein and their secretion okay the important function of this smooth endoplasmic reticulum is synthesis of lipid ಲಿಪಿಡ್ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸಿಗೆ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ರೈಬೋಸೋಮ್ಸ್ ಇರುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ರೈಬೋಸೋಮ್ಸ್ ಇದು ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನಾನು ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೀ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೈಬೋಸೋಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಲಿಪಿಡ್ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಸ್ಟೀರಾಯ್ಡಲ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ಸ್ the animal in animal cell the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is involved in synthesis of steroidal hormones in the human or in animals various type of hormones are synthesized and that steroidal hormone is one of them which is nothing but a lipid components that help for the various functioning growth and different action of the animals okay that can be synthesized in animal cell where in smooth endoplasmic reticulum steroidal hormone anna synthesis maadlikke help maadtide okay next we'll move to the uh, important or uh, organelle that is golgi complex golgi complex this first found out by this golgi complex are first discovered by observed by camillo golgi camillo golgi so the components that organelles are called as golgi complex in 1898 in 1898 itself the camillo golgi who first observed the important components called golgi uh, complex okay it is also called as dictyosomes anta heltare adakke golgi complex ge it is also called by other names like dictyosomes golgi apparatus golgi apparatus golgi complex athava dictyosomes anta heltare so who first observed golgi complex camillo golgi so after him the uh, that organelles are called as golgi complex or golgi apparatus avana observe madida karana most of the organelles most of the invention uh, the name will derived from the scientist here also the golgi golgi name derived from the scientist who discovered it okay here this golgi complex he found out uh, some uh, usually the uh, cells are observed by staining process alva stain madudrinda now cells organelles athava nucleus anna differentiate madlikke sadhya aagutade here also he observed the cells uh, stained uh, st- uh, he observed the stained particle inside the cell near the nucleus reticular structure that he near the nucleus these were later named as golgi bodies a stained portion illi enagutte cell nucleus na near hatradalli the stained particles anna avana observe maartade later he called that stained sac like particles or reticular 
particle as Golgi bodies. Okay, here usually these are sac like they the they they are usually arranged like many flat disc shaped disc shaped structure which is arranged one above the other they are parallelly arranged they are arranged one above the other sac disc like plate like structure which is arranged one above the other and this sac like disc like structure he called it as a cisternae okay this disc like structure will call it as cisternae ee disc shaped structure anna naavu cisternae ant helteve that measures about that measures about 0.5 micrometer to 0.5 micrometer to 1 micrometer okay in diameter in diameter they are okay usually 0.5 in the 1 micrometer varege diameter vary aagutade some having very small uh, cisternae and some of the cells have very large cisternae measures up to 1 micrometer 1 micrometer varege measure maartade and this uh, cisternae the stack uh, the varied number of cisternae are present in golgi apparatus the number of cisternae varies one time uh, sometimes it may be only two sometimes four more than four the number of the cisternae varies from uh, one golgi bodies to another golgi bodies it is uh, collectively collectively stack of uh, cisternae is collectively called as golgi complex idanna collective agi naavu golgi complex anta heltave each section anna naavu cisternae anta heltave okay understood this cisternae is concentrically arranged near the nucleus they are usually concentrically arranged near the nucle nucleus nucleus hatra ee tara concentric circles andre half circles bartadalla concentric circles andre ee this like this concentric circles idanna half circles aagutadalla like that you can see the arrangement of the so golgi cisternae near the concentric circle near the nucleus nucleus hatra concentric circle aagi adu arrange aagirutade so cisternae with the distinct they are in the uh, cisternae which is of uh, two different forms they are in two different forms that is cis phase they are in two different phases ee concentric age arrange agirutadalla golgi bodies they are in two phases eradu phases alli irutade that is a cis phase and trans phase usually the cis phase you can see the golgi bodies are convex shaped okay convex shaped alli irutade ee tara somewhat and it is also called as forming phase this is also called as forming phase somewhat convex shaped and the shape of the cis phase is the cisternae is convex uh, shaped and that phase will called as cis phase and also called as forming phase and one more is a uh, trans phase here the cisternae are in concave shaped somewhat concave shape al irutade the cisternae are in concave shape and this phase is also called as maturing phase these are the two different phases of the golgi bodies golgi bodies idu eradu different phases yavudu cis and trans very important cis phase is also called as forming phase trans phase is also called as maturing phase here cis phase you can see convex shaped cisternae in trans phase you can see the concave shaped cisternae so here the two these two phases are entirely different their uh, functions and structures are entirely different but they are dependent on one another okay they dependent the they dependent or they formed from one another they are formed from one another they entire but 
they are interconnected they are function as well as their origins are interconnected usually the trans phase formed from cis phase okay cis phase in the trans phase next to form after they don't forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates